Let's start the video. It's called the Mega Man Breakdown for 628 to 625th. And I'm gonna up, I'm gonna update you on the result for last draw, which is 625. And my and the uh, the latest, which is 628, which is tomorrow's draw. But before we get started, you can subscribe, donate, follow me with Fulp. You can donate via Google Ad or PayPal. Remember to share and like my video. Also, use the closed captioning button. And remember, it's nothing is guaranteed. Nothing will ever be, but always trust yourself. And remember, I do private prediction via hyper underscore links at yahoo.com. For any game prediction or request, please email me for that. Once again, hyper underscore links at yahoo.com. Now, my, lit my latest illustration are as follows. If you want to learn my lot of illustration for lottery coaching, lottery illustration part 10 is random system, 11 is lottery skips, 12 new lottery grid, 13 arcing numbers, and 14 invincible numbers. Now for last draw's result, I uh, will show you that the win number were 24, 33, 45, 47, 61, and 17. Nobody won the Mega Man. There was one second prize sold in New Jersey. And it, and for those of you who had the breakdown, 17 was predicted by the lottery uh, pie, by the pie system. It was the top two Powerball from the lottery pie. So a lot of players who played at 17 have hit that 17 Mega Ball as predicted by the Mega Man. And we know that 24 was a non-playable number. So. I'm gonna have to write it down. 24 is non-playable. Now we have 33. 33 from last draw was high playable number. High playable number. And 45. 45 was also high playable number. 47. Forty-seven as non-playable, so they threw us off of non-playable numbers, and play two high-playable numbers. And sixty-one was considered again a high-playable numbers, so they were not much neutral numbers that were drawn. So there were thirteen non-playable numbers. And one of the uh, two of the thirteen non-playable numbers were twenty-four and forty-seven, and the other three was high playable numbers. There were only twenty-four high playable numbers. Of coming out, three of them came in high playable numbers. Now, the arcing numbers. There were no arcing numbers for that draw, so arcing numbers is no arcing numbers for that draw. And the red numbers for that draw. There were no red number for that draw. Except for sixty one. So sixty one was the only red number in that draw. And 17. 17 was a red number. So that's why 17 Mega Ball came. So they have two red numbers that draw 17 and 61. And as you can see, two red numbers came. So the red number. Uh, hi. Now, the invincible number is in test mode right now. So, the testing mode for invincible numbers are in test mode. So, now there were no invincible numbers because we are testing the invincible numbers right now to see how we can better improve the invincible numbers. Now, as you can see, from 33 
45, 47, 61 can be invincible numbers. And 24 is non invincible, uh, it's, a, it's not an invincible number. So those invisible numbers that could be predicted was 33, 45, 47, and 61. But those four invincible numbers was not on my list. So to, to better improve the invisible numbers, I had 14 invincible numbers that were picked it from the list and none were invincible numbers. So to better improve the system, we gotta better improve our picks for the invisible numbers. So we're gonna have to try another draw with invisible numbers to see where the mistakes were in picking those invisible numbers. But the red number as I have spoken, red numbers are your best picks. So right now, red numbers are the best picks to play. Even though last draw probably didn't want a red number, this draw there were two red numbers. So red numbers will come back to back, no doubt. So if you by playing the red numbers, you increase your chance of hitting that jackpot. So for those of you who play the 17, you should hit the 17 mega ball. So we certainly got a player who sent me the winning ticket for 17. I haven't I didn't post it yet. Maybe I'll post it when a lot when people start sending me the winning tickets. And I see a lot of players, a lot of my players played at the Mega Ball 17. So congratulations for those of you who played at 17 as the Mega Ball. Now for next draw, I'm dropping the 17 out. So you gotta get a new list for the Pi system for the Mega Ball. And also, <clears throat> let's look at the IDCQ system update. I'm not gonna post IDCQ system, but I'm gonna update you on the IDCQ system. For those of you who got the list, you can follow me. And let's look at 24. 24 is in quadrant one. The uh, the 33, 33 is not in the IDC system, but since 33 and my list was high playable, you can put it in the blue box. In quadrant Two or four. So thirty-three can be formed in the blue box. Two or four. And let's look at the other IDC system. And we have forty-five, forty-five it's a high playable number, but not in the I uh not in the IDC system. And not in the blue box, so the only high playable number is 45 for now. And we have 47. 47 is in quadrant 3. 61. 61 is a, is a red number in quadrant 1, as we can speak of. And as you can see, the 17, 17 was also in quadrant one. So for those of you who have the ID seeker system and who want to request ID seeker system, please email me. So as you can see, most of the win number were picked from quadrant one, three of them are in quadrant one, but one that's 24 is not playable. Now that means the ID system has proven to be effective because all those numbers that are in the ID system were winning combinations except for 45. So only number that you can place in the blue box are high percentage playable numbers. And you can only use one blue box. Now the codeaser is always in the system but the codeaser pair may not be in the system. You can use two blue box only for the codeaser pair. And effectively, 45 should have been 